What would you like next? If this Manny Pacquiao fight were to come to fruition in 2019, would you take it? I most likely would definitely take it. I'm going to have to talk to my team. We're going to have to talk to our managers. And, uh, but I feel good. That was a beautiful fight. I would love to have that. Bring it in the ring. Maybe Brooklyn, maybe Vegas, wherever Manny Pacquiao wants it. I'd fight him in the Philippines if I had to, baby. Keith One Time Thurman, born in Clearwater, Florida, is the current WBA welterweight super champion of the world. Still unbeaten in his last 29 fights, Thurman remains a force to be reckoned with in boxing's welterweight division. His last three fights were wins against some of the best welterweights such as Sean Porter and Danny Garcia. After his bout with Garcia, he has been sidelined for 22 long months because of injuries. In 2019, he had a tune-up fight against Jose Cito Lopez, which proved to be a tough challenge for Thurman. Thurman dropped Lopez in the second round, but was rocked by Lopez in the seventh round yet managed to win a majority decision against his opponent. After his win against Lopez, Thurman challenged boxing's only eight-division champion, Manny the Pac-Man Pacquiao. Pacquiao's sixth-round knockout loss against Mexico's Juan Manuel Marquez, ended the heated rivalry in a devastating fashion. Boxing experts and fans alike, most of the time use this event as a point of reference for Pacquiao's declining career. In 2017, Pacquiao experienced yet another controversial loss, this time to Australia's Jeff Horn. After taking a quite lengthy break after the loss to Horn, Pacquiao came back strong by knocking out Argentina's Lucas Mathis. There are different reactions to Pacquiao's win, and some suggest that Mathis is not even fighting to win, but to cash out and retire after the fight. Early this year, Pacquiao made a statement by dominating the foul mouth, trash talking, Adrian Bronner. After experts noticed a decline in his abilities, the Bronner fight was Pacquiao's strongest performance yet. On July 20th, we are about to witness an epic battle, between a wise and legendary boxer in the twilight of his glorious career, against a strong, young boxer in his prime, with something to prove in this era of boxing in the welterweight division. It's Manny the Pac-Man Pacquiao, versus Keith one-time Thurman. For Pacquiao! I'm very grateful, very happy to be sharing the ring with a legend like Manny Pacquiao. But, you know, for those who know boxing and truly understand boxing history, you know, times change. I believe boxing has come to a new era. Floyd is gone. Pacquiao is here. Come July 20th, he will disappear. I've been this um, uh, boxing uh, for uh, two decades. I will not uh, predict this fight, but... I will make sure that um, I'm 100% conditioned and ready for the fight. Uh, let's see if um, who's, uh, who's tougher in, in the ring in, in, on uh, July 28th. Uh, this is going to be exciting. I mean, so what does July 20th represent to you? I mean, July 20th is just a dream come true. 23 years in the game, I dedicated my life at the age of seven to this beautiful sport of boxing. And my original trainer, Ben Getty, who believed in me from the age of 7 to the age of 20 when he passed away. And he always told me back when I was 14, 15, 16 years old, you have what it takes to be champion of the world, boy. And not just any champion, but a great champion. We saw you in the ring after the Errol Spence fight. But you decided to fight Keith Thurman, an unbeaten champion. Why Keith Thurman? I choose uh, Keith Thurman because uh, he's undefeated, and I would I want to prove that uh, at age of 40 I can still uh, uh, beat an uh, undefeated fighter like uh, Keith Thurman. Will Keith Thurman be the one to put an end to Manny Pacquiao's glorious career? 
Will he finally cause the legend to quit, or make him hang up his gloves for good? A boxer is only as good as his last fight, but we can never know. If Thurman fights the same way as he did against Jose Cito Lopez, he might end up losing by decision, or surprisingly, by TKO. He might be slower compared to Pacquiao, but the power is evident. A perfectly timed, right counter may end Pacquiao's night. If he fails to get a win against Pacquiao, retirement might be an option. Boxing fans are questioning Thurman's commitment to the sport, and is somewhat suspicious about him fighting a 40-year-old Pacquiao. Is he just fighting for a retirement check? Is he preparing to ride off in the sunset with lots of cash, win or lose? That remains to be seen. Until then, no one can know for sure until fight night. After all, a Thurman vs Crawford, or Spence is something we all need to see. For the Philippines Manny Pacquiao, it's not over until it's over. He knows that his boxing days are numbered, but he still wants to prove that he still can trade leather with today's top welterweights. At 40 years of age, he is not the same Pacquiao when he defeated Oscar De La Hoya, Miguel Cotto, Shane Mosley, and other boxing greats. One can argue that his speed and strength is not as the same as before, but make no mistake, you don't sleep on Manny Pacquiao. Thurman may have power, but Pacquiao's combination of speed and power is what makes him dangerous. His punch output may have declined, probably because he became too cautious not to make the same mistake he did during his fight with Juan Manuel Marquez. While others question Thurman's dedication to the sport, others are also questioning Pacquiao's. In the Philippines, he is a senator. A deeply religious man, he makes time for his Bible studies and charity works. In boxing, you can't do it without focus. If you are a boxer, be a boxer. If you are a politician, be a politician. But Pacquiao is there to prove others are wrong. He already did it. He is a senator, an 8 division champion and the current WBA welterweight regular champion. On July 20th, he is out to prove that age is just a number, and the fight with Thurman is just another chance to teach the young guns how the veterans do it. However, if he loses the fight, it might be the perfect time to hang those gloves and walk away from the sport. A loss to Thurman won't tarnish Pacquiao's legacy anymore, as he is already a legend and will always be a significant part of the sport for years to come. Manny Pacquiao, Keith Thurman, July 20th, a fight that will decide both fighters' fate, in the world of boxing. This has been a presentation brought to you by the Gentleman Boxer YouTube channel. If you liked our content, please hit like and subscribe. Thank you.